What's up guys, my name is Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to create floating 3D text in DaVinci Resolve. Alright, I have this 5 second clip zooming out down a hallway, and I want to put floating text in this doorway. To do this, we're going to start by heading over to the Fusion tab. First, let's add our nodes. We have 3D Text, 3D Merge, and 3D Renderer over here. Make sure you enable lighting and shadows for your renderer. Then hit control space and search for a directional light. And we're gonna add two for this example, but it's not mandatory, you can just use one. Lastly, we're gonna add a merge node. Hold shift and drag and drop it between media in and media out. Now we're gonna set up our nodes. We have our two lights and our text connected to the 3D merge node. Connect that to our 3D renderer, then connect our renderer to our merge node. All right, hover over the 3D text node and click the left dot right here to bring up the 3D workspace. To navigate the 3D workspace, middle click and drag to move around, alt plus middle click to rotate, scroll wheel allows you to move up and down, and holding control and using a scroll wheel allows you to zoom in and out. Okay, click your 3D text node, type your text, and set your extrusion depth. Next, set up your directional lights, and you want them to imitate the environment in your scene. For me, there's a light towards the end of the hallway, so I'm going to place a directional light behind the text. Then, I'm going to place another light in front and turn down the intensity a little bit. After that, select your 3D merge node and move it until it brings your text where you want it. Now, make sure you're at the beginning of your timeline and select your 3D text node. Go to the Transform menu and set a keyframe for the Z axis under Translation. Then, go to the end of your clip and adjust the Z axis so your text lines up. Let's see what we have so far. The final step is to add a shadow. To do this, go back to the Edit tab and add a text clip. Delete the text, right click on the clip, and click New Compound Clip. Then go back over to Fusion for your compound clip. Add 3D text and a 3D renderer and a merge node. Next, type your text, change the color to black, and set the extrusion depth to 0.01. Go over to the transform menu and adjust the rotation so it lines up with your scene. For me, I changed the X rotation to 100. Head back over to the edit tab, go to open effects, and drag and drop a Gaussian blur onto your compound clip and lower the opacity. I like 50%. Go to the beginning of your clip, take your shadow, and move it so it lines up with your text. Then, set keyframes for zoom and position. Next, go to the end of your clip and adjust the zoom and position so it lines up. You're going to have to play it back a few times and do some fine adjustments to the zoom and position. Once you finish fine tuning the shadow, you're done. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. My name is Joe, and I'll see you in the next one. Do you have a clip you'd like to submit? Head on over to the link in the description to access our clip submission form for a chance to be featured in a future video.